Welcome back, my Goobertrons. How you doing today? It's Chris here. We're back again with some more Iron Marines. We've got a War of Attrition. This is the final level in this planet, and of course, it means we're playing the final boss. I'm going to try and do my best way to kind of charge through this map. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is make sure I change this guy into a flamethrower. I'm going to grab a really quick set of uh, Guardians, and we're kind of just going to walk up in here. Now, there's going to be a lot of guys that are going to try and kill us up in here. Uh, it's just even walking over here. People pop out of the woodwork, man. It's like, what the heck just happened? Now, the only sad thing about this entire level is that you're going to have to try and spend a lot of your uh, Ethereum on defensive towers. Well, you don't need to, but it is better to, so you don't end up losing the game in sort of a stupid way. Now, the flamethrower guys are actually one of my least favorite mechas of them all. They do do some decent damage and stuff, but they're just sort of hard to use, and they sort of die sort of easily. That's why I got this mecha guy over here um, for now. We are going to try and spend all of our money as fast as possible can while keeping everybody, of course, alive. <laughs> try and kill me, I dare you. Paragon's going to get up out of here, and he's going to use his ability on these guys while we take these last few, um, whatever the heck these guys are called down. Rock monsters, whatever you want to call them. They pretend to be rocks and stuff. So, uh, you know, obviously we're going to take down this first area pretty darn quickly. Whoop! Yeah! We're even going to grab some extra Ethereum over here, so once we take this thing over, we can end up um, actually building things. So bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. we got an extra set of Ethereum over there as well, but we don't even need that right now. So what the heck, dude? Paragon, what have you been doing? Grab this thing. All right, so we got a Blight Mother coming in here right now. So uh, we're going to use Paragon to kill them for now, because there's just so many freaking guys until we get a missile launcher. Um, I'm going to switch this guy back into a uh, really quick... Shellstorm. Drop this thing on all these stupid blights. Blight Mother makes blights, right? I think. I guess so. We're going to call them blights for now. I think they're really fell wings. Paragon did a good job of defending. We're going to wait and we're going to use our shield pretty soon, but the Shellstorm is obviously doing an excellent job in defending for now. Let's even get an extra upgrade right here. Bam! On top of that, I'm just going to get a machine gun over here because it really doesn't matter what we have as long as it's something that has a shield to keep us alive. Um... Looks like we already do a decent job defending, and I think we're going to get ready to do a pretty nice charge up in here. We need even more damage on these guys. Oh, our Shellstorm just died. Okay, well that sucks, but it's not the end of the world. We don't even really need that thing anymore. We're honestly better off um, getting another Guardian, because that's what, are gonna, what is going to be our main uh, unit for destructions later on. Now, they do show us what this brawler is, but I don't have a good time using these guys. Again, I'm not a fan of the mechas overall. Uh, they seem like they should be the best because they're 90 freaking Ethereum, but they still end up kind of sucking. Uh, this guy is the only guy that's actually pretty useful, though, just because he can be such a ridiculous tank. Uh, he's got melee combat. Not all that strong, by the way. But he's got superior armor and health. He's just a tank. That's all he does. But again, he's slow. Sort of stupid. If he does go down to low health, you can't just run away and heal up. He's just sort of stuck getting attacked, and he's going to die. Which is also upsetting. And he also only targets ground enemies, similar to the flamethrower guy. So even though he's sort of strong in certain ways, he is obviously weak in a lot of others. Alright, so we're going to get ready for our charge right here, guys. We're probably going to end up doing a double charge. Um... So here we go, we're going to heal everybody up, bam, bam, use our heal move, uh, everybody's just going to freaking town right now, it's all we can do, Guardian's got to kill these radioactive guys before we get too much further, we also got a freaking hammer grub coming in here right now, and we're going to have to retreat, so I think we did a pretty decent job overall, but uh, still not all that successful, as you can plainly tell. Let's mend our Ethereum on extra upgrades and stuff, shields are one of the most important things to buy, by the way. So, uh, we actually don't even want to run these guys in yet. Let them heal up first. Alright, so there's a lot of freaking guys attacking right now. Holy crap, is that a lot of guys. Um, in fact, they're going to just about take all of my guys down right now. I have to drop these guys in here. It looks like they will end up taking down my missile launcher. Uh, we're going to have to rebuy another one right after that, and we're going to rebuy a shield on it as well. So, uh, we kept both of our units alive, and it doesn't even matter all that much that they, um, Having a strugglicious time, because now we're going to take them down for sure. Hammer Grubs, yeah, they still do damage to your uh, Guardians, though, just because they're close to them, so you got to be careful with that. You're not going to be healing while you're taking down a Hammer Grub, even though it doesn't do any damage. Um, or an actual attack. So, um, that was like the big main attack that we just took down. Still only two command points. Obviously, not very much to deal with. Let's go in here, and we're going to charge. So, 
Uh, yeah. I mean, use your guardians, dude. I mean, it, it's actually kind of nice when you split them up a little bit. Um, you can use them in a little bit more effective way because all those guys are not going to be doing any more grouped damage to you. Now, we got a bunch of guys running in here. We're actually going to use our heal to keep everybody alive during this process. And then on top of that, we're going to use our ability as well to take down all these rock monsters before they end up killing us. And after that, it should be pretty simple to take this thing down. Now, we got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you know, spore crawlers about to pop out over here, but I think the best thing for us to do is just to kill the base before they pop in. Bam! Annihilated them. It will be annihilation. So now the money isn't even that important at this point. If you haven't noticed, I mean, we've pretty much bought everything we need to buy. Uh, we're actually need a machine gun over here, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, there might be. Oh my goodness gracious! There might be a command point up in here. Look at all these freaking guys, though. Oh my god! Luckily, the Guardians are freaking boss taking people down. Maybe we can use my heal, I think. Screw it, let's just use our heal. Got so much freaking damage to do right now. Just millions of guys walking in our uh, our base. Plus, we're getting an extra shield over here and some extra range on top of that. Now, we got a Hammer Grub coming in, so I'm going to go back for a little bit of a defensive play right now. Use both of our Guardians to attack this thing while uh, Paragon hopefully kills any units that are going to walk in over here. Hammer Grub obviously gets taken down really, really quickly by those guys. We still have to defend for quite a while. So, um, once you get that radar thing, it's just like, whoa, everything just got lit up. That's awesome. So, if you haven't noticed one thing, is I actually kept one of these, um, uh, two of these, actually. Oh, crap. Didn't mean to press that. I'm going to drop this thing in. Drop it in. Kind of run away for a second. I actually kept two of these Ethereum, um, bonuses down at the bottom here. Just in case when all my guys die, I can just pop him, uh, pop some guys over there, grab that really quick, and build even more guys faster to hopefully take this guy down. Now, I've never actually lost to this boss, by the way. I'm not sure if it's not possible to lose, or if I'm just really good, or if this just isn't that hard of a boss. I don't know. Uh, I think it's probably possible to lose if you actually lose your refi refinery. Um, but if you don't lose your refinery, you should automatically win, I think. You know, as soon as he, as soon as he does his um, automatic refinery kill, that's actually a good sign. It means you're moving up in the world. You're actually going to be able to attack this guy. Let's send everybody in all at once. Again, there's only, you know, two command points in this entire level, which is kind of sad, but uh, what are you going to do? So what I like to do is I like to send everybody as a quote-unquote cohesive unit. That's what I like to do. So we've got uh, the new enemy here. This is the Fell Tyrant. Yeah, I know. Sounds ridiculous. He's got fast regeneration. He's got a mega blast. Let's read him up really quick. This colossal creature is the undisputed Fell ruler. Unmatched regeneration and the ability to launch explosive eggs makes it uh, almost a hopeless challenge. Its unique ability to obliterate an entire base with a single Ethereum mega blast is just another brick in the wall. So holy crap, sounds really intense, right? Honestly, not that difficult overall. I feel like they could have done a little bit better of a boss design on him. Um, you know, another thing is, why the heck does he launch eggs? Like, do, you know, I feel like he would be better if, if the only difference they made is he dropped enemies. You know, it just made him a little bit more difficult in that nature. So I'm actually going to leave one set of guardians over here to take him down while we uh, hopefully destroy this mofo up in here. And guardians got to go back in there. So one thing that I learned from uh, uh, one of the comments again from my previous run through was the fact that uh, I can easily pick up Paragon if he ever starts to do his Ethereum Blast. So that's one thing that I definitely need to do a little bit better, is just pick him up and drop him wherever I need him. I keep him alive so we can actually start attacking at the beginning. Oh, here we go. It's already going to start. Attack. Oh, crap. Let's get up in there. Okay, three, two, one, go. Even gonna do my heal up in here as well. We'll let our machine gun turrets actually do something. So the nice thing about the heal is when he chomps me or, or, or splash attacks me, I actually get healed up from this thing. That's obviously pretty freaking sweet. Oh man. Okay, so he is doing some damage to my guys. Let's move him over to the other side. Um, he's gonna go for a his Ethereum Mega Blast already, but because we didn't damage him enough, he's like, oh, you know what? I guess I'll just wait a little bit longer. No, nah, we didn't make it in time, Chris. Too bad. So sad. We didn't damage him enough. Oh, man, really? He's going to run through it. Go, 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 guys. Run, run, run. Oh, they got one of them. Now, we've got 200 freaking Ethereum, so even if he does kill me, it's just like, it doesn't even matter. It's just like, whatever, dude. Go ahead. Try and take me down. Just build another one of them. 
Now, I haven't really known um, of any other units, so here we go. He's finally going to do an Ethereum Mega Blast. We're going to pick up our hero really quick. He's just going to regenerate everything that I, I do my new pace, so... What you going to do? What you going to do, man? I've never tried actually running away. I don't, I don't know if that would even actually help. I don't think it would, but whatever. Anyways, we're going to drop our hero back down. We're going to rebuild um, both of our guardians. Oh, here we go. We get a command point. Yay! Command me! Oh, no! Our hero died, so it didn't even matter. <laughs> ah, it didn't even matter, guys. Oh, that kind of sucks. All right. Anyways, now we can finally get three delicious guardians up in here. Turrets defending like a delicious friend. Oh, crap. Guardians, get out of there! Get out of there! Come on, just pop up, dude. Just just let me do some damage to you. So, the nice thing about this boss is that they do make him um, last a long time. You know, some bosses, like, just doesn't matter how long you last. It's just going to pop down there and make sure that uh, he takes, you know, you can kill him in, in two minutes or something like that. This boss, I don't think it's possible to speed run this guy. It's just, like, going to take a long time no matter what. Alright, so, run away, run away, run away. This is what I'm talking about with those, um, sort of, uh, dashes. They kind of suck, actually. They actually cause more problems than they are helpful. So we're gonna heal up through these eggs and keep- oh, come on. See what I'm saying? He just heals right back up. He's like, screw you guys, sucks for you. So our hero's gonna attack over here, we're gonna drop a turret on him while we keep our guardians as close as we possibly can to this guy, because we want to take him down fast, right? If I just keep running around the entire time, it's not gonna work out for us. So we even drop our turret on him as well. You can tell, look how much damage we're actually doing now that we got an extra person to, to help. Ooh, he's gonna take down our thing, though, unless we put a shield up! Ah, sucks for you, Tyrant. Got the shield up just in time, and I think we might even take this guy, uh, no, not quite. Almost took him down all the way down to the next level. And by the next level, I mean uh, the next level where he actually decides, hey, screw you, I'm actually going to come back over here and, uh, oops, let's heal up. Attack, 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 attack. Heal, 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 attack, attack, attack. Uh, we're actually decided to do his Ethereum Blast. Oh, man, these guys are going to die. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, he's going to do the Ethereum Blast. So we're going to pick, oh, I thought he was going to pick the hero up in time. I didn't make it, guys. It's a little tougher than it looks, to be completely honest with you guys. I thought it was going to be really easy, but nope. Nopey nope nope. Alright, so now we get another command point even on top of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the command... You know what? Let's get the Ethereum first. Grab the Ethereum. Um, we're going to grab the extra command points. We can build an extra guy up in here. Now we can build four of these guys on top of that. So that's pretty freaking amazing if you ask me. Ethereum there. Ethereum there. Grab a Guardian. Didn't do that. And we're ready for our fourth uh, Guardian up in here. So there we go, four guardians all up in here. We can drop Paragon on top of these guys on the left side. We're going to have to get ready to build another shield if we can. Uh, in fact, screw it. We'll send a set of guardians over here, too. Paragon, what are you doing, little buddy? Don't die on me. I don't want you to die again. Dude, a lot. All right, so we got a big chunk of Ethereum over here again if we need it. It looks like there's two there. Is there really two there? I question that. Maybe we'll send our hero over there just a second. Anyways, at this point, it's all about just doing mega damage as fast as you possibly can. He doesn't heal quite as much as he did before, so, um, you know, just keep attacking. Paragon's going to heal everybody up, and then he's going to go underground, though. No matter what, he's going to go underground. So we're going to walk back over here to see if this is a double Ethereum. It is. It's a double Ethereum pocket. How ridiculous is that? It doesn't really matter, but whatever. Oh, crap. Freaking hammer grub. Whoa. Hammer Grub's coming in here. Um, I'll get an extra shield up in here, and we're just going to let everybody attack kind of all over the place. Uh, Paragon's going to do the real damage over here. We might even be able to take this uh, Fell Tyrant down right now. Put him kind of in the middle so we can attack both uh, the Tyrant and the Hammer Grub. Guardian, get out of there. He's almost dead. He's going to try and do the Ethereum Blast, but we are not going to allow him, and we will defeat him. Now, I think the only way to lose might be if he starts to do his Ethereum Blast, and then you uh, don't do enough damage fast enough. You know, if you, like, have your guys in the wrong spot or something like that, like, maybe he will wipe out your base and you actually lose the game. That would be sad. Luckily, that did not happen to us. And, um... Yeah, so, well done.
The invaders are defeated. It's time to rebuild the colony. Cha-cha! Oh, let's do it. All right. Woo, yeah. Hope we never have to face that again. So, um, we got an extra ability. We're going to use these things. Let's, uh, let's see what we got. What do we got? We got unlock this. We unlock this. There's a lot of coins. I don't need those. I need gears. You already got 50,000 freaking coins. So the next thing with our gears is we're going to unlock, um, these bottom upgrades. We're going to go all the way across here. I don't really need those things. I, I don't like those guys at all. Uh, I do use... Man, I guess I use those guys even more. But we can't get this until we beat mission 9. Can't beat that until we get mission 9. So... One thing that I can do is I can get these guys up a little bit. Because I do use a lot of Empyrean units. So, um, especially in these upcoming levels, we're going to use them all the freaking time. Guardians, not quite so much anymore, but just Empyrean units as, in general. Definitely going to be very, very helpful. So, another thing you noticed, I really didn't get a lot of the, st the top upgrades. Like, you know, I probably should have gotten those, but it's mostly just random stuff that you don't really need all that much. Like Shellstorm, Flamewalker... Whatever. They, they're just terrible. Now, this is actually kind of important. Extra extraction of speed from uh, refineries. You do want to get that. Um, I'll probably get that pretty soon, actually. You know, why not? Why not? So, um... That's all I'm going to have for you guys today. Ooh! Would you look at that? We actually get to upgrade this guy just a little bit. We finally got their silver upgrade. Silver upgrade. And we get to check out the new world. Unlock the new world. Supreme Thinker, Telus ED7, Dibble Dibble, Lilo 5, Dr. Einstein, Planet Earth. Trusted allies from different systems have been abducted. Intelligence reports the peripheroids as the ones responsible. We must rescue them. So, a bunch of guys have been um, stolen, kidnapped. Later, in a planet far, far away, the planet has strong orbital defense shields. Full power. Yes, sir. Hold tight, Marines. It's going to get bumpy. So going to an entirely new world to rescue our friends, I guess? Why not? They can be our friends. Um, and... Yeah, so this is coming up pretty quick. It's actually a pretty easy level 9. Um, I find most of the worlds in here, just to be... Or levels in here, actually to be pretty reasonably easy. Um, there's only a couple tough ones, but once you get the hang of it, it's usually not that bad. Um, the ones with the, the special missions, though, those can be actually pretty darn difficult. There, there's a lot of random stuff going on, a lot of tough, just tough stuff to do. But if you guys did end up enjoying the video, make sure you press that like button for me. I appreciate that a bunch, and have a super duper delicious day.